I'm not kidding. I wanted to run away to New Hampshire and sleep by, because I'd read some Ben Franklin book when I was a little kid. I wanted to sleep by the printing press in some small New Hampshire newspaper and go out and cover presidential politics in, in this state. And, and I mean, I, I know that you know this because you're the smartest people in New Hampshire. But you should really be conscious. This is the only place where this happens. Not even in Iowa does it get to the level that it gets to here. And, and, and I love these because I'm a Midwesterner, so we're like overly nice to your face. Um, behind your back, it's horrible, but you know, but we're, we're very, very nice. New, but people in New England are a little bit, they have a little more edge to them, and it's like perfect for American politics. It's an incredibly great place to start the process, and I know people say, oh, it's, it's imperfect in this regard, and it is, and it's imperfect in that regard, and it is, but the bottom line is, a place where a bunch of kind of blunt New Englanders can go up to candidates for president and say, you know, what about that military-industrial complex? And, and they have to answer it? Boy, that is a dream come true. I would, and, and I want to tell you, on February 11th, it's over. Right? I mean, we, we lose our, our connection to that grassroots democracy on February 11th. It's true. So I don't want to put any burden on you. But if you don't fix the problems by then, we're, we're in bad shape. And I want to, before I get going today, and, I, and this will just be for a minute, but I want to introduce you to my favorite intervention in the political process. Because our media system is a disaster. I often say we have the worst media in the world. People say to me, well, hold it, what about North Korea? And I say, no, in North Korea, I'm pretty sure they know not to believe it. <laughs> um, and, and so I, I'm profoundly disappointed with our media system. I think it... We have wonderful reporters, heroes of mine, and great people who do good work. But unfortunately, what's happened is, it's like the Woody Allen movie, where in Annie Hall, we was telling the joke about the two old ladies at the Automat in New York. The one lady says, this is the worst food I've ever tasted. It's abominable. And the other woman says, yeah, in such small portions. And, you know, that's the reality of our media. It's, it, it, isn't simply, it isn't simply that our media... It doesn't do a very good job. Now we don't even have enough of it. If you pick up a daily newspaper, it's a thin shred. If you watch the evening news, it's a horrible, horrible, non-functional reportage. Because what they literally do is report polls. They tell you what you think about what they're not telling you about. And the end result is that you end up knowing a lot of numbers, but very, very little about you know, what might move numbers. It's a disastrous situation. And then we've ladled on to it this massive amount of money that comes flooding in. And so, I, I mean, I, only in New Hampshire, people across the country, I literally just did a radio interview this afternoon, I was trying to explain this to somebody. I said, yeah, in New Hampshire, there are people who will never be president advertising on TV, attacking people who will never even be able to imagine being president. Right? You have these